Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to a little more Tropico 5. I'm Jeff. And I'm Andrew. And yeah, we're going to take, let's just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of the city. Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's pretty nice. we got a little apartment. Hey, it's a crime lord. Hanging out. What's he up to? Greetings. Hello. He's filthy rich. Oh, the crime lord works at the clinic. Great. Gets him all access to all sorts of things. The clinic. Not this clinic, though. Or, oh, I guess that's him. Hmm. I'd have him arrested. But I don't have the money for it. Yeah. All right, but yeah, we got, we got, uh, we got, some, we got some TV stations. We got yeah, a, we have a uh, two, right? Industry. Uh, we have one there. Yeah, and there was one there. Yeah. Right, right. yeah, oh, on the got, pharmaceutical. Yeah, we got our pharmaceutical company. Which, uh, once you have some bit more cash, it can improve the effectiveness on our clinics and our hospitals. Making them uh, even better. Awesome. Yeah, we got uh, we got a cathedral over here by the cabaret. Perfect. I think so. We got our good old space program. And then way over here, we have a tourist section of town. Oh, it's beautiful. It's 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 a little weird. We got we got two tourist buildings that they can stay at. They can either stay at the Economy Hotel or the Cabana Village. And there's lots of beaches they can spend time at. Yeah. And then over here, I just got some police and, 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 and some apartments. So people that can live over here in, in houses rather than in shacks by the fancy hotels. Oh, shacks. Uh, all right. Let's get things going. Oh, yeah. And we have this ancient ruins. Oh, yeah. We can we can get uh -huh. alien artifacts. So, so slob tourists will want to go there. There's four different kinds of tourists, I believe. Slob. Uh, family tourists. Uh, rich tourists. And then filthy and, rich? Uh, Eco-tourists. Uh, so the eco-tourists like to do the whole, I want to go explore the beautiful jungle. That's why we have this park. This national park. Yeah. Uh, 200 out of 200. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's filled with people visiting. We've got our airport. In fact, you know, I, can I get that now? Boink. There we are. We've got... Precious alien artifacts there now. El Prez action figures. Basically, they sell little figurines of you, and that goes directly to your Swiss bank account. Of course. Because where else would you do that? All right, we'll upgrade all of these beach sites so that wealthy tourists will also want to visit them. Yes, good, good. Our little uh, geothermal plants. Oh, yeah, I wanted to upgrade these guys. No more pollution. Oh, cool. Yeah, so eventually, once we have the money, we'll replace our energy grid entirely with geothermal I plants. I am so furious. I cannot believe what just happened. Oh, oh the rebels. I know. Roll out my tanks. Oh, you remember when we did that? We sold all of our military buildings. Yeah. Made a heck of a lot of money. We did make a lot of money. I do enjoy how much money we made out of that. Which was kind of weird. <laughs> well, that's what the UN does. I guess. I suppose. Kill them. Come on, guys. Why are you driving past? I don't... I understand. Presidente, I'm shocked, but it seems that our citizens are impervious to damning. Hmm. Damning? Yes. Don't worry. He's also impervious to being to dumbing. He, he can't get more dumminger. Great. <laughs> ah, they already hit rock bottom. Before our citizens start digging down, let's promote Tropican smartness. All right. We can do that once we have a bit more... Uh, You are like a turbo poor. Yeah. Let's take a look at our balance sheet for a moment. So we drag in. Oh, it's because we spent million, nearly a million dollars last year on construction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, our revenue, our income, apparently, is 2.5 million. Well, our expenses are 2.6 million. Of that, uh, apparently, 
Yeah, eight eight hundred million was or eight hundred thousand was construction. Yeah. So you know, I'm I'm not. Ooh, we we sell a lot of rum. <laughs> Jeez, no kidding. But uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we're poor right now, but our balance sheet indicates that if we just stopped building things, we'd be floating in cash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. We arrested some people. Good evening. Uh, yeah, our prison. Where is it? Here we are. Automatically arrest crime lords and rebel leaders. Did I, who's who's left? Where are the rebels? Oh, we defeated them. Good, good, good. Everything's good then. How's our research coming? What are we working on? Ah, small print. Small print. Then the inferiority complex. All right. Yes. And then. Um, Oh no, we have inferiority complex. We're getting hot water next. Right. Right, right, right. I know what's going on. It's all... It's all coming, coming back. back. It's weird that we're getting rebels at all, though. Since apparently we have a 91% popular support. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's a few. Who, who likes me the least in this country? Oh, wow. What do you got? Why do you hate me? I love Tropico at Sunset. Why? I don't. I don't get why she hates me. Yeah, let's let's see. All right. Huh? Political views. Guess that some people just hate you. Yeah, I guess there's she's, no. Overall, she's happy. I guess there's just no way around it. Hmm. Oh well. Some people just hate you for uh, hating you. I guess. You just you can't please everyone. It's like, did you ever watch Recess as a kid? A little. There was one episode where one kid hated TJ, who was, like, the main character. Yeah. So TJ was, like, doing all these cool things for him and, like, showing him all this awesome stuff. He's like, so do you like me now? And he's like, nope. <laughs> all right. So we have to make a choice now. I know, right? We're not making a choice at all. I'm going to build a college. Actually, we do have to make a choice. And where do we put this new college? There's the co one college. Where do I want to slap the other college? Hmm. Slam it in the water. <laughs> no, it won't let me. See? Red, red means they can't. Can put it on that boat. <laughs> right on the boat. I know. It'll fit nicely here, I believe. That's near some, it's near some population. Yeah. That'll work. And the lumber mill. And the supermarket. Yes. Oh yeah. Have I Oh yeah, I was working also saving I'm saving up cash to upgrade fifty plus more fifty effectiveness. Nice. I know. We'll give us a serious power boost. Let's see, producing eight hundred Watts, gigawatts, yeah. terawatts, um, hyperwatts. Uh, just say 800 units. <laughs> 800 units of 800 joules of energy <coughs> for the entire island. I do need, I worry though, that uh, I just, it's so much is sitting there. I need to send more stuff out. For what, rum? Or just in general? Just in general. A lot of my uh, production buildings seem to be rather rather full of supplies that they really could be shipping out. Full of cheese. Oh, hey, you need more logs. I'm going to have to invest in another. Once I get more money. Sure. It really is just like real life. You're like, eh. well, I'll, I'll, I'll do lots of things. Once I have more money. Hmm. But in this case, I do want... Um, a logging camp. We'll just slap this guy over here. And reforestation. Perfect. 
Oh yeah, I think it's part of part of our problem is a population problem. We I recall now. Uh, well, not bad. Fifty six open jobs. We could use a few more people. <sighs> That's fine. Well, it's fine. Once we get uh, actually, can I upgrade these now? No. Where is it? Ah, waterworks. Yeah, yeah. Once I get once I can get waterworks. I can upgrade the farms to needing high school students. Oh, right. Which will free up more of the illiterate population to work in other jobs. And yeah. I can help kind of balance things out a little more that way. Presidente, the nationalists are prouder than ever oh, we tropicans. I'm going to take well, the Swiss bank account monies. Mm -hmm. Don't have enough to level him up, though. His thing is he makes all of my production buildings produce more. Uh, ooh. ooh, that was close. I was like, and everything's gone to pieces. All right, there we go. More magma. More magma. Oh, right. We've finished building our embassies. Let's invite China and the EU and the Middle East. There we go. They're all visiting us now. Oh, and I should do some trade routes. Do I have a chocolate factory yet? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I do either. But I probably will get some, some chocolate going soon. And I'll throw a bit of that down. Because I'll get one of those going too. Alright, well, we'll just do that for now. So yes, the apparel factory. Basically a, a fashion industry. Clothes making. Right, right. Rather than just making, um... What's it? The cloth. Over here. At our textile mill. With uh, a quarter of the people we could have. President, yeah. look at these big, comforting Ooh. letters. Obviously, they are big because they mean something important. <laughs> Anything important would surely be written in big, nice looking letters like these. There is nothing below them worth looking at. <laughs> by reading this, I agreed to raise Penelope's salary by 300%. I'm not sure I pay him at all, though, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, the small print. So. Uh, yeah, we'll give them energy efficiency. And then we're going to raise, um, manufacture the price of, ma uh, the base price of our manufactured goods by 10%. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. It was either make the raw goods cheaper or uh, sell better. The top thing we sell, like our rum, would be 20% better. Right. Or all the things we manufacture. By so 10. our cloth and our rum and all that. Definitely going with that. And yeah, fight piracy. Foreign aid from the EU and the US increased by 20%. All right. More money from them. Works for me. Mm -hmm. Now then. Oh, yeah. So let's see what my research is looking at. So yeah, we're going to get hot. We can get hot water, which is good. Right. I thought, why can't I upgrade this? I can. Have I shown you what the fancy top-level buildings look like? No, uh, nope. Well, now that I've got the, well, have the money for it soon. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's 1991. I was alive then. Yeah, me too. Do you remember the years of 1991 all that well? Uh. Banks are the only good Ugh. thing in this evil, evil world. Banks keep the world afloat. Ah, banks are a cure-all and we can't possibly have enough of them. Yeah. All right, she's convinced me. Oh, we already have one. Yeah. We'll build a second bank. Uh, where do I want to slap this bank? Where is a good place to slap a bank? Mm, oh, there we are. Oh, yeah. Upgrade my college so that they educate faster and they get research points out of it. There we are, 125 research points. But no one's attending college right now. Oh, some people are going there at least. Ten people for a whole college? Yes. Yeah, it's an island with a population of 750. 
We can educate 20 people at a time yeah. to college levels. I guess so. Hey, we can we can educate 30 uh, high school people at once. Just said your automated mine was demolished. Oh no! You're right. I need more coal now. Or else my precious... Oh, there's another coal factory. Oh, that or, was or... Or... What's... How much do you got? They got some... Oh, you still got some supplies. I might as well use this as an opportunity to make my transition. Oh, right. From, uh... Yeah, make my transition from... Fossil coal. fuels. Coal to thermal? Coal to thermal. There we are. Geothermal plant. No. All right. Right there. Perfect. Rumor has it that El Presidente's personal bank account is one of the few man-made objects that can actually be seen from space. It might be an exaggeration, of course. Cool. I'm not even certain that Switzerland can be seen from space. Ooh. Ooh, so shiny. It is quite fancy looking. We are on the verge Ooh. of creating a new <coughs> world order, old boy. It will be just like the old world oh. order, but with distinguished people, such as you and myself, on top. Ah. If China likes me more, I will surely improve my place in the world. All right, let's. We can do that, I think. Sure, I can do that. Um, China, where, where, where's your embassy? You... Splendid, old boy. Oh. Tropico oh. is most certainly becoming an important player in the oh, process of yeah. globalization. Those are the banks. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna get the two free office buildings. Uh, there's China. Uh, let's praise them. Uh, Thirteen. All right. If China... Ah, here we are. I will give China oil, and that will give me 15 more foreign standing with them, ideally. Great. Mm -hmm. Though that could take a little bit to kick in. Yeah, well... That's okay. Ooh, telemarketing. Eh, anything to generate a little bit of profit, right? Very important. All right, I'm gonna upgrade this guy as well. Bam! Just looming over everything in the downtown core. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, that's okay. There's some houses. You know, I'm, I'm actually tempted to demolish some of these houses. But they're and, so beautiful. And slap in a... Let's see. Well, the housing quality would be superior for a modern apartment. And it could fit just as many people. If I took out three of these little houses. You know what? I'm going to keep this guy. And give them a neighborhood watch. But the others got to go. Sorry, guys. You're being replaced with modern housing. Oh. Oh, look. He was living there. Service. Look at them scatter from their demolished homes. Poor guy. <laughs> He's going to the police station. They blew up my house! Those mad men! Uh, don't worry, we'll build you a shiny new house soon. Workplace unemployed. The capitalist leader is unemployed and lives in a shack. Great. I love the irony. Uh, we'll take a short break here. and I'll see everybody soon. Yeah, take care.